I literally have no idea what this is. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome back to my channel. This is the welcome pack. I'm even more unimpressed than I was with the last one. If you haven't seen my previous video of the welcome pack in my first location, please check that out. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you haven't seen my packing video for China, I would also recommend that. But they did give me a proper size towel, which I must say I have used as a right lovely. Anyway, not even cups, not even real cutlery. One, two, so three plastic forks, one plastic knife, plastic plates, and plastic sauces. So nothing to resemble a regular plate. They are very pathetic rubbish bags here, but they fit in the, in the smaller rubbish bins. And they're very jam. Anybody knows what this is? Got some ramen, some roast beef noodles. That's nice. I don't eat red meat. A couple of rolls of blue paper, that's very handy. Some um, nice cafe. Oh, to put in those cups, because there's no real, real cups. I am impressed though, at least there is a proper teapot and uh, a bag of lollies that I will not be opening. I did also get the 5 litres of water which is great. I did bring some things with me from my other city, so that's why they're just poking around in the background there, but this is what I was given. So had I have just got off the plane. I might have cried. In fact, I might have found my way back to the airport and left. Because this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. I did also get a mop, but I do not mop, so I won't be using that. Did also get a jug, so that's nice. You can see in the kitchen here a microwave. Please check out my apartment, a tour of my apartment. You can see here I also have some gas hobs, but there's no there's nothing to cook anything in because the cupboards are bare. Some junk from the last person and yeah, just cupboards of nothing. So I have absolutely no use for this kitchen. I think if I had been given this yeah, straight off the plane, I would have turned right back around again. Because I was moving from another city, I already had some products of my own not kitchen of things because as you saw in the other video I was provided them and because I still work for the same company little did I know and it's something I never ever thought to ask but of course we live with her so I would have bought them with me because then I could have used them. This welcome pack is just not. No. No. So I guess my advice for you is when you're coming to live in China you don't know what you're going to get Yes, you can speak, hopefully you can speak to other uh, foreign employees that work for the same company so you can get an idea. But I seriously don't know if you go to the level of, do you get provided with a real glass and a dinner size plate, like a real plate? Um, you might. And maybe that's the takeaway is that you should be asking whoever it is that you have contact with. Not a recruiter because they're not going to know. But as I said, a foreign person that works in the same location because presumably you should have the same or similar accommodations to what they have. And yeah, bring a towel definitely because <sighs> check out my packing video. You're going to need money. You're going to need money. There will be things that your apartment doesn't have. We all have our own different tastes. We all have different little things that would totally make us more comfortable. And so you're going to have to buy that. So you might well come in the middle of the pay cycle or the pay monthly pay just happens. So you'll need money for those little things that you will need. <laughs> now there's no end to how much that could be. I'd also check if there's an IKEA in your city because that could appease and ease a lot of what's missing from my particular from my particular welcome pack here. That might be your first weekend where you're popping to an IKEA. If there isn't an IKEA, yeah, you need cash, you're gonna have to go to other supermarkets, 
you might be a colleague or an admin person might be nice enough to say oh do you need anything I'll buy it for you on Taobao um, and then you can give them cash because yes as much as I can survive three days with three plastic forks please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. This is all part of living and working abroad, new adventures, new challenges at seemingly every turn. <laughs>